On this side, we have Duval, a pale coloured, deliciously dry and dangerously drinkable beer at 8.5%. On this side, we have my clone of Duval. It is a similar colour and clarity. It's a similar strength and mouthfeel. However, there's one big problem. It smells and tastes like band-aids and medicine and it is absolutely undrinkable. In this episode, I'm gonna go through all the problems with phenolics, which is that medicine flavor, and how to solve most of these issues. Stay tuned. Hi guys, and welcome to Mash Hacks. My name is Ben, and uh, let's get stuck into why these beers are so different, um, yet so similar. So one of the first problems with phenolics is uh, actually stems from the Belgian yeast itself. So uh, Belgian yeast, unlike a lot of other yeast, produce a lot of phenols, which is just a chemical, um, almost like a flavor, I guess you could consider it, um, much like that banana flavor is a phenol um, that you get from like Hefeweizen yeasts and stuff like that. So uh, Belgian yeast to start with produce a lot of these phenols and of course if you ferment too warm or too, uh, you don't have enough yeast in your um, batch then you are going to stress out those yeast and they're going to produce more of these phenols. So problem number one is the fact that the Belgian yeast is quite phenolic to start with and so you really want ideal conditions for the right you know, sort of flavour profiles. Now, one problem with Duval is you've got to ferment it very dry. The attenuation of the yeast has to be quite high. So you need a lot of yeast to start with. Now, I didn't have as much yeast in my batch. I probably only pitched for um, a regular amount, uh, not a super amount that I needed for, for this particular beer. Step one, Belgian beers are phenolic. Take care with that. And make sure you pitch adequately and make sure you um, ferment at, a, at the correct temperature because that temperature is going to play a critical role. If anything, ferment a little bit cooler than you think you should. Now I use tap water for all of my beers. I did that in Australia and I'm doing it here in Leuven as well. Uh, and I used to filter in Australia um, with a charcoal filter which would just remove any of the impurities but it was already pretty good water. Uh, here in Leuven we've got very hard water and so I need to be careful of the calcium content and mineral content in the beers but uh, another really big problem and this is one of the main problems I've had in uh, Belgium here is the use of chlorine or chloramine in the water. Now there are two ways uh, sort of municipal water supplies treat their water to make sure there are no bugs in it. The first one is with chlorine and the second one is with chloramine. Now the problem with chlorine is it's a bit unstable and it doesn't always make it all the way through to your house. Uh, it might come out of solution well before then, and if it does get to your house, even just letting it sit for a little while, the chlorine will evaporate out. And it will especially leave your beers when you boil it off. So pretty much all chlorine is boiled off during the boil. So the second chemical uh, that they add to water, uh, or as an alternative to chlorine, is chloramine, which is just a little bit more stable version of chlorine, and I think they use ammonia uh, to get to that chloramine. But what this means is that chloramine will make it all the way through to your tap water, and it'll make it into your beer as well. It'll make it through the boil. It doesn't boil off like chlorine does. So the reason you want to remove chloramine from your water is because it's going to react with the uh, phenols in your beer to form something called chlorophenols, which is just chlorine phenols. Um, and they taste predominantly like band-aids or medicine and that is an awful awful smell and taste So the best way to treat your water is to use something called Camden tablets uh, Which is just a compressed tablet of the powder which is potassium or sodium metabisulfite uh, Here are the correct dosages for uh, adding either a Camden tablet or potassium or sodium metabisulfite Keep in mind that all three of those things will have their own volume uh, rather their own dosage but what this does is it'll treat the water and it will remove that chloramine. And if you can smell chlorine in the water, this mixing of the um, Camden tablet should be pretty much instant. It should remove all traces of chlorine or chloramine, uh, including the smell, instantly. Lastly, I just want to throw in a few tips. Um, if you want to avoid chlorine or chloramine without having to treat your water, sometimes you can get away with just using a charcoal filter, though you'll have to run your water pretty slowly through that charcoal filter. I myself used to use a charcoal filter and I'm probably going to do it again. Um, I think it just produces a nice cleaner water. I mean, it, your beer is 95% water, you may as well make that water as, bet, uh, sorry, as good as you can get it. Another alternative to treating your water is to use bottled water, uh, which is what I actually did to try and diagnose this problem. 
Um, it works, it's kind of a waste of bottles and a bit expensive to do, but you can do it uh, if you would like to do that. I used water from the Rhine in Germany, how nice. Okay, so quick summary about how to avoid the medicinal Band-Aid flavors. One, make sure you pitch enough yeast. So plenty of yeast, probably more than you think you're gonna to need to make sure that they're not stressed out and they don't produce too many phenols. Two is make sure you ferment at the correct temperature. In fact, even just a little bit cooler uh, to make sure that they don't put out too many phenols. Three, make sure you uh, treat your water for chlorine and chloramine. If you just have chlorine, make sure the boil is good. If you have chloramine, remember to use Camden tablets. Um, and fourth, enjoy Duval because it is one of the best Belgian beers I think is out there. So if you've enjoyed this video or you'd like uh, to see more videos with more off flavors, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. Hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next Mash Hacks video. Cheers.